Hey everybody, this is Destroy X3647, another Star Wars figure review. Next up for today, we're going to be taking a look at um, a couple modern figures. And before I get started the modern figures, I want to give you guys a look at a request of a vintage figure, which I, if you guys have a really good figure, I'll trade it to you guys. And this vintage figure, I know two people have asked me um, to trade for a figure. For this guy, and I know one was Matchstick1994, who's in my cool channels list below uh, on my channel. And this figure, personally, I wanted to do before the person requested it, but someone requested it, so I decided just to bring it out. And that is the 2011 vintage Lando Clarissian. Very nice looking figure there. I didn't have any packaging to show you guys today because. I got this figure about a month or two ago, pretty sure about a month and a half ago, because, um, and that was when I wasn't saving my boxes for reviews, but now I am. Very nice figure. Now, since I have no packaging, let's get on to the little details on this guy. First, I want to give you guys a look at his little cape here, his cape, um, if you bunch it up like this, looks, you can't see him. There's V and all that. Let's take the cape off. Let's show you guys this. This cape is made out of a um, fabric, sort of stretchy fabric. If you see it stretches, here I'll show you guys. As you see, it's right there and then it's stretchy. And the main reason why it allows to be able to be stretched is because of this rubber band here. It's stretched. As you see, it's stretching. No um, details on this cape, just a blue cape. Stretchy fabric. And as you see, there's a little neck cord right there with a rubber band, which you could just slip over Lando Clarissian's head and put it like so. There we go. It's very snug. Now let's take the cape back off. Let's get into details with the Lando figure itself. Lando Clarissian, let's start with articulation first. Okay, Lando Clarissian has a ball jointed, a ball hinge, wait, ball jointed neck, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, ball hinged, ink, I mean hips, swivel waist. Ball hinged hips allow him to be in some acrobatic positions, which we don't really see Lando in. Maybe you could pose him like this, or like he's shooting or something, or any other acrobatic sort of pose. And he does have ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. Very nice articulation for a vintage figure. Now let's get on a little bit more details in this figure. This figure is um, amazing with details. It really brings out Lando Clarissian. I'll probably be doing a re-review of this guy once I get my new camera. And guys, about the new camera, I actually posted my bulletin. I know I just got a new camera like about a month or two ago. But um, this camera I'll be using for portable, which is mainly all the time because I always portable bring my camera a lot of places. Like This camera for sure is my permanent camera for pictures and for videos it is um I'll be taking videos um everywhere I go a portable I'm a random video dude I'll keep this um this camera here for my other channel random video dude one and I'll just keep it for that for vlogs and all that and I'm gonna be getting a camcorder only for Star Wars reviews um this camera is for pictures and portable. The camera camcorder I'm getting is for um, just for Star Wars reviews. It'll stay put in this house. I'm not gonna take it out of the house. So then this camera's for portable and all that. So yeah, that's about my camera. Enough with the camera. I'll get on with the vintage Lando. And since it's a camcorder, I'm getting an HD camcorder. Um, if you guys want to see a test shot of my camera, 
down the beginning, it focuses really, really well. Then, if you guys want to see a test shot, um, click in, click right Orlando, click Orlando Clarissian is holding. He's holding the link. He should be. And that's my camera I'll be getting is um, that one. I believe it's from Toshiba. I believe it's a Camellio H30. I believe that's what it is. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to see it, click right there. And there we go. Now let's get on to the view again. Um, Lando Clarissian is a very nice vintage figure. Um, we have a little brown vest or short sleeve over Lando and long sleeve underneath. Has his little communicator watch there. And so that'll, about the camera again, guys. Um, that for sure HD, will, like the HD focusing will be in 2012. If you guys, um, I'll be posting on my bulletin really, really soon. That HD is coming in 2012. High definition and high quality. Like high definition um, and a camcorder. Because camcorders film way better than cameras. Is coming in 2012, guys. Probably on January the 2nd of 2012. And let's get on with Lando again. Lando has a holster right there. Which his gun can fit very snug into. I kept this gun with a rubber band because it seems to fall out. When um, not hooked down, right? And he has a nice belt as well. Nice belt, guys. Nice facial sculpt. And nice paint job. Very nice details um, Kenner has done to this product. And as I said, guys, um, I really recommend picking this guy up. This guy is an amazing figure that I really recommend picking up. And if you guys see it, guys, if you guys see it, grab it because it'll be gone soon. And there's the gun. I took it off right now. It could fit right in the holster. Like that. And this guy I really recommend getting, guys, as I said, three times. And if you guys see it, just grab it because this guy, I believe a lot of people want to trade for it. Because it's an amazing figure, for one. And um, it's just a very cool figure to get. And next up, my next review will be of a, another, um, my first modern figure I'll be giving you guys a look at. And that is um, a figure I got from comics and stuff a couple years ago, which I still have the packaging of, surprisingly. And that's Boss Nass, the Gungan leader. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you guys like this review. And until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.